The true test of a poker player is the cash game. And over the years, the Crown Casino has attracted the world's best poker players to an exclusive, invitation-only, high-stakes cash game. Tonight, the Intimidator, Patrick Antonius, the man no one wants to face, will match up against the uber-confident, multi-tabling whiz kid, Tom Dwan. These top money earners will square off in the biggest televised heads-up match ever with $2.5 million on the table. There's high stakes, and there's huge stakes. Get ready for the PokerStars.net Posse Millions Cash Game Invitational Heads-Up Duel. We come to you once again from the banks of the Arter River. We are at the Crown Casino here in Melbourne, Australia, and this is the culmination of what has been a very exciting week of poker here in Melbourne. Heads up competition. Tom Durdwan, top-ranked cash player in the game. He'll start with $1 million. Across the table from him, Patrick Antonius. He won $701,000 and change in 07 and 08 and starts with $1.5 million. I'm Barry Tompkins, along with poker expert Bart Hansen. And Bart, usually when we talk about poker on television, we're talking about chips and chip count. But that is not the case today. We're talking about money, and it's real money. And two of the best players in the world, amongst whom there are absolutely no secrets. They know each other that well. And it's a real treat for a guy like me who plays professional poker to see two of the best heads up. In fact, we've never really seen a cash game in a heads-up format like this on television. Millions of dollars are at stake. I mean, Tom Dwan, he's got a million on the table. If he loses it, he's got a million on the side. So he is prepared to bring more money onto the table. Yes, yeah, seven figures is at stake on the table today. And what we're really looking at is two poker heavyweights who will come out slugging. There's no question about it. And this will not end in a decision. This will end in a knockout. I basically play anyone in the world in any game. Because usually the better player wins if you play a very long time. He's just a very good poker player. Right? Reason through hands very well. He analyzes how his opponents play well, and he doesn't let his emotions get the best of him. Yeah, I think Tom is a very hungry player. He wants to be the best. He approaches the game in a totally different way, and he's super talented, I think. Patrick's an extremely good poker player. I've played him heads up online a bunch. There's more skill in heads up than any other form of poker. There's more intricate scenarios which will come up so you need to be in so many pots or else you're going to just get blinded away and especially at the highest stakes people are adapting so fast so you need to also be adapting or else you're going to lose a lot of money quickly lately it's been pretty good for me i probably won at least a million could be more could be almost two million but it's very good for my confidence for coming to this game i feel that i have a big edge at the moment so it's just the two of them no limit hold them will be the first portion of this. We will also play Pot Limit Omaha. And, uh, Blinds are 1,000, 2,000 with a 500 and, uh, ante. Button is first to act in the small blind and then has position in each subsequent betting round. Antonius with an ace seven suited, raised 7,000. Now Duan in the big blind. Ace seven suited, a very good hand, heads up. Duan a queen four suited. On the flop. Wow, ace, queen, seven, each catch. Oh, this is a huge hand right off the bat. Duan's got a pair and a flush draw, and Antonius has top and bottom pair. Big, big, big flop. And just a bet and a call. And an eight of spades on the turn. And now Antonius has a spade draw along with two pair. And let's see, obviously, he's going to bet for value here on the turn. He's got to figure aces and sevens are the best hand. 25,000 to bet from Antonius. He wants to get called by weaker aces and flush draws. And he does get called, 25,000. Be interesting, you know, if a four or a queen comes on the river. It's a jack. Well, Duan only has a pair of queens. Pot's 85,000. He only has a bluff catcher, and Antonius is definitely going to bet for value here with the aces up. Got to give Tom Dwan some credit here because this pot could have gotten a lot bigger. 65,000 is the bet by Antonius to Dwan. So he's getting over 2 to 1 here. There's 150,000 in the pot. Are you just steaming because of that hand you were talking about? 
Probably, right? He throws it away. Anyways, that good lay down there by Tom to allow him to throw. $150,000 pot right off the bat. And of course, we're talking real money here. Well, let's look at what the chips are worth. The blue chip, that is the dark blue chip, $500. The lighter blue chip is 1000 The orange chip, 5000 And that opalescent rectangular chip is worth $25,000. So two players playing for a whole lot of money. They need to make no limit when empty tables so badly. King Someone nine suited for Dwan. He's raised to 7000 we're gonna see these players play a lot of hands heads up. Antonius with sixes. How many hands are we gonna play one game? Or is it just time limited? Whatever you want. Here's the flop, and what a flop for Antonius. And Durr is lucky that he doesn't have ace nine here, or that board didn't come out king, king, six. Here he doesn't even fire at it. The turn is a queen of spades. Well, Antonius is definitely gonna bet out here. With his full house, the pot is fifteen thousand, and he bets twelve thousand, close to the amount of the pot. Well, Durr has picked up a flush draw here. We know that he's drawing dead. He does make the call. It'll be interesting if he does hit a spade here. Did not eight of clubs on the river. Well, sometimes good players make calls with king high. That hand does have some showdown value. Obviously, he has just a bluff catcher. 35,000 from Antonius. That's 35,000. And that's a big, big bet on the river here. And what might be going through Tom Dwan's head is, you know, does Antonius really have an ace here? Because what would he bet on the river so big? And again, he'll muck the hand. So Antonius has won the first two hands here in head to head. And both pretty good laydowns by Dwan. That's where we stand right now. Antonius up 62,000. And of course, Dwan down the same 62. A pair of tens for Dwan. Well, this is a monster hand heads up, Barry. He'll raise to 7,000. Ow! And another big hand here with pocket nines. Well, this is going to be interesting. He's going to raise up to 20,000. And with the stacks so deep here, I would imagine that Tom Dwan is just going to call and see the flop. Which is exactly what he does. You can see Dwan with the big edge here. 45,000 in the pot. Here's the flop. A7 deuce. And of course, that's going to slow the action down here. Obviously, neither player has an ace. But they both have what they think is second pair to the board. 28,000 is the bet from Antonius. And let's see how Tom Dwan plays it. He does have position. You know, he might one time it here and see what Antonius does on the turn. Kind of a small bet. Kind of a small bet. Just a call. Let's see what Patrick does here. If he's going to shut it down on the turn or if he thinks Durr's got a flush draw. More than 100,000 in there and a jack of clubs. Well, now both players have third pair to the board. Jack doesn't change much, but if someone did have a jack high flush draw, they would now beat the other person's hand. Little bit of pot control there by Juan. Check, check, and a deuce. Now, this is going to be interesting because if Patrick checks the river, Will Tom Dwan value bet with third pair here? No, he just Nine. checks behind. And Dwan's going to win the hand. So Tom Dwan takes down this hand against Antonius. What we're really watching here is two heavyweights. And right now, a little sparring going on. 11,500 to the good for Antonius. Lots more to come on the PokerStars.net. Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational Heads Up Duel. We welcome you back to the beautiful Melbourne Crown Casino, where two of the top cash game players in the world are doing battle in the Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational Heads Up Duel. We're back inside the poker room at the Crown, where Patrick Antonius has taken an early lead, but tonight won't be the end of that rivalry. Tom Dwan made a unique proposition, which Patrick Antonius answered. 
I decided to make a open offer where I would put up one and a half million to anyone's 500,000, over 50,000 hands of 200, 400, either no limit or PLO. It looks like I'm going to be the first player to pay him. He's laying a little bit more money against my money if I can beat him and so on. We're going to play like 50,000 hands. And whoever is up money after the 50,000 hands needs to pay their side bet amount. And the money you win also obviously stays. It's a way of getting people to give some action. I think they're very confident at the moment. He put this challenge to anyone in the world except one player, uh, and he thinks he's better than anyone else at the moment. I obviously still think I'm um, not losing too much money by doing it, but we'll see how it turns out. Well, this is just an incredible challenge. I mean, for Tom Dwan to lay one of the best players in the world 3-1, to one, I I amazing. What they didn't mention was that they're going to be playing four tables at a time. That's one of the requirements. These guys are a unique breed of cat, not the insurance salesman who lives next door, I'll tell you that. Jack-10 against 8-6. And deuce-8 jack. Each player getting a little piece of that. Well, Antonius raised it pre-flop. Duan with top pair. Duan likes to lead out at a lot of raisers, and that looks like what he's going to do. 12,000. You know, heads up with the pair. Gets a call from Antonius. Pot is 39,000 here. Nine of clubs on the turn. That gives Duan an open-ended straight draw along with his top pair. You can see he's way out in front. It checks. Wouldn't surprise me if Antonius checks right behind. He does. The river is a six. Wow. And Antonius makes two pair. Now there's a one line into a straight to a seven. Durr looks like he is going to bet this for value. He thinks he's good with his one pair. And I don't think that Patrick can really raise him, but I think he's definitely going to get called. So he bets 31,000 and an immediate call. And Antonius going to win the hand. Yep. And all that Duan can really do is just nod his head and say, you got me. That puts Antonius now 62,000 to the good in this heads up play. Well, Duan has the button. Six tray on the button. Well, it looks like Duan is raising a very wide range. 6-3, not a great hand. A six suited. Calls. And Patrick has Tom Dwan dominated here, but Dwan's got position. Three five nine. Dwan catches a little pair. Yeah, he outflops Antonius. And he bets out twelve thousand. And Patrick is gonna lead right into Tom Dwan, the razor here, and he's got absolutely nothing. Straight call from Dwan. Dwan with a pretty good edge here. On the turn, a deuce. Doesn't change much. Gives Antonius a gut shot to the four. He might try to represent like he's got a straight as well with six four. And it looks like he's going to continue to fire. He does, 32,000. 32, now, Tom Dwan also has a gut shot to a four. He's got the best hand, but can he really continue on with this action? He will, so he does make the call, and he's got a big edge here. And this pot has ballooned to over a hundred thousand. Oh wow! Third three for Duan. Well, that's going to make it very easy for Tom Tuan to call a bet here. Check. And Antonius has just given up. Duan is going to make a value bet here, and sometimes. You see good players make calls with no pair. I don't think this is a case here. I'd be very surprised if Antonius looks Tom up here with ace high. Remember those plaques are each worth 25,000. Big right bet here by Dwan, 83,000. 186,000 in that pot. We're talking real money, not chips. Heads up competition and a cash game continues when we come back.
you back to the Crown Casino Hotel here in Melbourne. This is the Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational Heads Up Play between Patrick Antonius and Tom Der Duan. Duan now just a little under a million dollars in play. While Patrick Antonius started at 1-5, 10,500 to the good. And we're going to switch things up a little bit. We're going to play what they call PLO. Well, let's talk about the rules of the game. Players are dealt four down cards. They must use two down cards and their three community cards to make the best five-card hand. You can only bet the size of the pot. So a game with a very different look and different technique. The blinds are still 1,000, 2,000. There are no annies because this game plays so much bigger than Hold'em. And a pretty good hand for Patrick Antonius to raise the 6,000. Well, he does have a dangling card in there, a deuce, but his hand is double suited, ace, nine, queen, deuce. He'd like to have all four cards working. Well, this should be interesting. Well, it, it definitely is because they both have the same suits, diamonds and hearts. Flop three diamonds. How do you like that? Oh, wow. And unbelievable. Patrick has flopped the nut flush, ace nine of diamonds. Dwan has flopped a smaller flush with seven three of diamonds. Dwan actually has a straight flush draw to the six of diamonds, and he check calls a $10,000 bet. Ten of spades on the turn. Well, remember, this is Omaha, so Tom Dwan is not going to go nuts with the seven high flush here. I'd be really surprised if he does anything but check call. Antonius reaching for chips. And a bet 26,000. And Duan does not have what we call a redraw. He cannot make a better hand besides the six of diamonds. Can't make a full house. And he does call. This pot is 84,000. And if the board doesn't pair, Patrick's going to put a big value bet in at the end. Well, that's a little bit of an action killer, Barry, because now the possibility of a full house is out there, but I still think Patrick is going to value bet here with Ace Nine of Diamonds. Again, 84,000 in the pot. What this does is it makes it a little less likely that Duan will call. 76,000 is the bet from Antonius. You can see very pained look on Tom's face there as that board pairs on the river. Getting a little over two to one. Can only really beat a bluff. And he dumps it. Nice one. Thanks. Very understated. And you can see, you know, the relative value of the hands changed drastically in Omaha. Dirt easily folds a flush heads up. That's a very, very good hand. 6,000. Four working cards in a row, Jack 10, 9, 8. And a call out of big blind for Duan. Duan with an ace jack seven six suited to the jack. On the flop, king nine eight. Now Antonius has got an open ended straight draw and bottom two pair. Duan has an open ended straight draw and a jack high flush draw. You can see they're almost 50 50. 12,000 to bet from Antonius. And Duan a call. And Duan's got to be careful. His jack high flush draw, drawing to the third nuts. And there is a queen of clubs. And that gives Antonius the nuts right now. He's got jack 10. He also has a club draw, a jack high club draw. But you can look and see that Tom Dwan has the ace of clubs. So he knows that Antonius cannot have the nut flush draw. 31,000 is the bet from Dwan, a bold bet. Well, it is bold, and Patrick's in great shape. I raise the pot. And Antonius going to raise the pot. Well, with diamonds and clubs out there, Antonius is going to raise the pot with the nuts. He also has what we call a redraw. He's got the nuts with the flush draw. He's going to be very comfortable getting his entire stack in on this turn. So Duan has to come up with 67,000 to make the call here. 
Well, unless Dwan is planning on calling and bluffing a club river, I think he's done with the hand. He does have a jack blocker as well, so that's what he could be thinking. Thinking Antonius cannot have jack 10, I have a jack. Such a cool hand. And he throws away that cool hand, so I think well mucked. And Antonius is going to win a pretty good sized pot, but could have been a lot more damaging to Duan. So Antonius continuing to drive the bus right now. We're coming back. Heads up play continues after this. You're watching the PokerStars.net Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational Heads Up Duel. We welcome you back to the Crown Casino Hotel. We are here in Melbourne, Australia, the banks of the Yarrow River. This is the Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational. Heads up competition between Tom Dwan and Patrick Antonius. Blinds now 1,000 and 2,000. Back to no limit hold'em. Antonius, 7-4 suited. Going to raise to 7,000. Dwan a 10-8. Big blind. These guys have played their... Uh lines pretty liberally and he does defend so nothing to be exceedingly proud of but nine eight queen and so Duan has caught a pair well Antonius has got the flush draw but he decides to take a card here and it is a seven Duan now with a pair and a straight draw Antonius with that flush draw and now he picks up a pair gonna bet 12,000 Boy, Antonio seems like a very tough guy to read. Well, I think he's trying to figure out if he's going to yeah, call or raise, and he's going to raise on a semi-bluff here. 38,000. Well, he doesn't think he's got the best hand, but he thinks he can get Tom Dwan off a of hand just like he has, like a pair of reeds. And Dwan going to call 26,000. So 91,000 here. And a nine. Well, let's see if Antonius is going to bluff at it on the river. Nope. It's good. So, check, check, and Tom Dwan will take this hand down. Dwan, a guy who, despite his young age, has been around the track a little bit. He's no stranger to poker swings. He's been hugely successful online for years with a screen name as unique as his game. Online, I'm known as Durr. I didn't put tons of thought into the name Durr, but um, I wanted something that would annoy my opponents if they lost to me. And I figured Durr was one of the dumber sounding names and also sounded amusing, so I just used that. I know he has an amazing amount of talent. Tough young player, uh, aggressive, can uh, do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. In the old days, you, people used to scoff at online players, but not anymore. I mean, these guys that learn on the internet have uh, really become some of the toughest players in the world. I mean, I'm, it sounds cocky to say I have an edge. I wouldn't necessarily say that, whatever, but I, I feel it's a good spot, a good game to play in. I'm not really trying to prove anything. I'm trying to make money. Well, they're just trying to make money here, and it's actually a little bit surprising to see these two play for such big stakes heads up because they'll both admit that they're the best players in the world. And a lot of poker is game selection. You want to play against weak players. These guys are kind of battling it out with their egos, too. Yeah, I think that's the interesting thing about it. It may be more about the ego than it is about the money. Duan here has raised it up with 9-7 offsuit and Antonius. Defense of pocket sevens. Five, six, eight. Oh, wow. Tom Dwan flopped the nuts. Now, Patrick Antonius has second pair to the board and an open ended straight draw. Not a bad flop for pocket sevens either. And Dwan bets 12,000. And a very quick call from Antonius. Yep. Now, if Antonius catches a four, he could be in a world of hurt. It's another seven. Wow. Well, Antonius has got a set now, but again, Dwan's got the best of it with a nine. You know, but do you put Dwan on a straight here if he bets the turn? And he checked it back. And it is an eight on the river, and Antonius has caught a full boat. Well, this is really interesting because Tom Dwan checked the turn, and I was thinking he was going to raise any river. Now the board is paired, but Antonius checks the full house. And Tom Dwan's definitely going to bet here with a straight for value. And Antonius is going to check raise the river. And 
And now Tom Dwan is going to bet with his straight. The 68,000 to bet to Antonius, and of course we'll jump this. Yeah, heads up, I just... I think that there is huge value in a check raise here. I mean, obviously, he can't beat eights full, but the way that this hand has been played, I think he's trying to induce bluffs, trying to get Tom Dwan to make some thin river value bets, and he is definitely going to check raise. Definitely going to check raise. Well, there he goes. And those are the placards. 25,000 each. Wow. He's going to raise to 162,000. Wow. That's it. Dwan instantly folds his hand. He doesn't take any time with it at all. Another great lay down there by Tom Dwan. Yeah, saved himself. Still, Antonius, 143,500 to the good. Heads up competition continues from here in Melbourne after these commercial messages. Welcome you back to Melbourne. We're at the Crown Casino Hotel. Barry Tompkins, Bart Hansen alongside. Heads up. A cash game invitational here. A whole lot of money involved. Tom Dwan, Patrick Antonius. Tom right now has 856500 in play. Started with a million. And Antonius started with a million five. He's 143500 to the good. The game is no limit. Hold him right now. We also are playing Pot Limit Omaha. Pair of sixes and a raise to seven thousand from Duan. Yep, pair of sixes definitely an above average hand heads up. Antonio's gonna raise to twenty two thousand. Well he's mixing it up a little bit. He's gonna re-raise with ten nine off suit. And again, these guys are very deep, so Tom Duan calls in position. On the flop. Three, king, seven. Couple spades out there. It's going to be very difficult for Tom Dwan to make a call on this flop. Pretty good board texture for Patrick Antonius to make a continuation bet. 32,000 is the bet to Dwan, and Antonius pushing it here. Now, if Tom Dwan wants to get frisky here, Barry, he could call here and try to make a play on a spade. And it looks like that's what he's doing. I think he is, again, what we call floating the flop. The turn is a jack. Well, that's a very interesting card because it now gives Antonius a double gutter, a double gut shot. He could catch a queen or an eight for a straight. And he's going to continue to fire as a semi bluff. And this is going to be 81,000. So almost 200,000 in the pot. Yeah, and Tom just releases his hand. Again, he lets it go, and again, it is Patrick Antonius who takes this down. You can see Patrick Antonius has quite a few reasons to love the Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational. He took home a quarter of a million dollars in 2007, and last year he won over $400,000, a pretty good chunk of which came from one of the game's best players, Gus Hansen. Yeah, you can't win if you don't gamble. You gotta take risks. Australia has been pretty good for me every year. I've been catching some cards here and I've been in a very good mindset here. And um, this year has seems to be the best so far. Yeah, no exception right now. He's almost $200,000 ahead of Tom Dwan in this heads up play. And now the game returns to Pot Limit Omaha. 1,000, 2,000 with the blinds. Well, Dwan with the button. Raised to 6,000. And that is a premium hand there. Heads up. King, Queen, Jack, 10 with one suit. Yeah, raised to 18,000. He's really pushing the action now. Games are just too big. And it's very rare for someone to raise on the button to not call a re-raise because of your positional advantage. And Dwan is in there. 8, 9, 10. How do you like that? Well, Patrick has flopped the nuts. Queen, Jack, he's got the nut straight. There are two clubs out there. 32,000. Dwan has top pair here with Queen, 10. 
He also has a straight draw. And he calls. If a jack were to come, Dwan would make a straight, but Antonius would have a higher straight. It's a five. And now Antonius has a flush. He flopped the nut straight, and he had a king high flush draw. He's made his flush. It's an interesting spot, though. He checks. Yeah, I think he's going to try to let Tom Dwan hang himself a little bit. So now Tom just checks and a four. And let's see if Patrick is going to bet for value or he's going to try to induce a bluff here from Tom Dwan. The pot's 100,000. He's got the second nuts. Seventy-six thousand. Dwan has made two pair here on the river. He's got tens and fours. He only has a bluff catcher. He's trying to play it back in his head. Could I possibly be good here? And the answer is no. And he makes the correct lay down once again. Well, Patrick Antonius has just played brilliant poker over the last half hour or so, and chosen the numbers two hundred forty-eight thousand to the good over Tom Dwan. You're watching the PokerStars.net. Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational Heads Up Duel. We welcome you back to the Crown Casino for the Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational. The Crown Spa is one of the many gems in the Crown Towers. For those craving privacy and relaxation, the Crown Spa offers suites equipped with private jacuzzi, steam room, and massage table. Leave the world behind at the Crown Spa. But if working out is your thing, well, the Crown Gym offers a state-of-the-art facility complete with a 25-meter indoor pool. The Crown Spa and Gym, another jewel in the Crown Towers. Pot living Omaha, the game here. Head-to-head -head competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good way to do it. And Tom Dwan on the button will raise to 6,000. And Antonius has single-suited aces. Aces are a big hand. Heads up. Different values depending on what your side cards are. Here he's got medium strength aces. Ace, ace, 10, eight with That's a single suit. And he'll just call. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good looking, isn't it? Absolutely. Antonio swaps top set and you know he's gonna check it over to Tom Dwan because Tom Dwan is representing those high cards that are out there. Look at the turn, a six, and that should make Tom Dwan brave. Well, that's a super action card. Antonius with top set. Now Tom Dwan has turned what is third set on the board. 10,000 to bet from Antonius. You know, because Patrick Antonius did not re-raise pre-flop, Tom Dwan might dismiss the fact that he has pocket aces or pocket kings here, and those are the only two hands that beat Tom Dwan right now. But he is going to raise it up. 37,000. 37, and Antonius has the absolute best hand right now. There are some draws out there. There's a heart draw, and there are some straight draws. Queen, Jack, and 3-4. Let's see how he plays it. There's no hand that can beat him right now. And heads up here, if he throws in a re-raise, I don't think Tom Dwan's going anywhere. This could get huge. And it looks as though that's exactly what he's going to do. The only thing that might save Tom Dwan here is the fact that Antonius is representing a huge hand. And Tom Dwan might think, wait a minute, I raised preflop. I'm the one that could have three aces. So Patrick must have a very strong hand. Well, he's going to make it costly to find out. Raised to 118,000. Costly to find out. Raised to 118,000. The pot is 167,000. Antonius has played his hand very deceptively. What is Tom Dwan going to do? I just can't imagine he's going to fold his hand. I think he's thinking of re raising with the draws that are out there. Obviously, he could just call. Wow. And this pot is huge. Almost a quarter million. Let's see if a non-heart comes on the river. Well, that does complete 4-5. So it's a little bit different than like a 7, an 8, or a 9 coming, which would be a total blank. But I still think Antonius 
is going to make a value bet here. But neither of these players have the nuts right now. Reaching for those rectangular placards. $25,000 each. The pot is two forty-eight. And that bet, $146,000. Almost 400000 in the pot. And Durr releases his hand again quite easily. And he was beaten, and so he really did. Saved himself a whole lot of money, despite being down 372000 and that river card might have saved Tom Dwan 150 to 200 thousand dollars. This is the Cash Game Invitational, the Heads Up Duel. We're coming back. We welcome you back to the PokerStars.net Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational. It's a Heads Up Duel between Patrick Antonius and Tom Dwan and Patrick Antonius has been playing brilliantly for the last several hands. And you know, the fact is, Tom Dwan has not played badly. Oh, he's played actually, I think, unbelievably well. I mean, the, some of the laydowns we've seen so far, he could easily be down six, seven hundred thousand right now. So both players to the flop of the five, six jack. And Tom here is gonna check. And Antonius has flopped three pair here. Jack six five. He bets twelve thousand. And Tom Dwan has a double gut shot. He could catch a four or an eight for a straight. There are two hearts out there. Interesting hand. On the turn, it's an eight. And that gives Tom Dwan the nuts, and Patrick Antonius now has four pair. So a quick check from Dwan. Of course. He's got jacks and eights, that is his hand, but he has a bunch of full house draws. He could catch a jack and eight, a six or a five. And he will bet 32,000. Well, let's see what Tom Dwan does here. He does have the nuts. He doesn't have any redraws though. He does not have a heart draw, and he doesn't have a higher straight draw. And for that reason, he just calls. So we come to the river. It's a six. And that's gonna give Antonius the full house. And you wondered if Tom Dawn was gonna check raise the river if a blank came, but that's not a blank. And he's reaching for chips. Obviously he thinks his hand is good because he's gonna bet 73,000. Well, here's the thing for Patrick Antonius. The only hand that he can lose to is pocket eights or pocket jacks. And because he has a jack and an eight in his hand, it's so unlikely that Tom Dwan has one of those hands. And he is reaching for raising chips here. Dwan almost visibly taking a deep breath. It's unbelievable how many times we have seen Tom Dwan make a second best hand. Can he lay this one down again? Well, the raise is to 175,000. I mean, it's almost uncanny. So he's getting about two to one in the pot. The pot's 349, 175 to call. Antonius bet the turn. Dwan decided to flat him with 7-9. Now the board has paired on the river, and he's bet the river, and he's gotten raised. And really, what would Antonius raise with unless it's a bluff or a full house? So Tom Dwan just has a bluff catcher right now. Wow! Yeah, he's going to throw it away again. Unbelievable. You know, isn't it amazing? I mean, he's playing really solid poker, and he's getting spanked. He's just, but, but the thing is, he could be down his entire buy-in. But because of his good play, he's only down about half of that. Of course, half of that is just about a cool half million dollars. Play continues now, and it does so with no limit hold'em. So a different game once again. 1,000 and 2,000 with a 500 Andy. Well, Queen 10 suited, definitely a good hand. Heads up. 7,000. Dwan, an ace and nine hand that can get you in trouble. Well, that is a very powerful hand, heads up as well. He chooses just to call. Mm -hmm. 
twos, and a pair of fives on the flop. Now this is a spot where if Antonius bets, Tom Dwan may very likely call, thinking that his ace high is good here. He did not re-raise it pre-flop, so he's under his hand. As advertised, bet of 12,000 and a quick call from Tom Dwan. The turn's a 10. That gives Tom Dwan the nut spade draw. It also gives Antonius top pair, though. And a check from Dwan. And it looks like Antonius is going to bet here with tens and fives. 28,000. And you wonder if Tom hadn't picked up the spade draw, would he have continued to call here with ace high? I think he's definitely going to call here with the nut spade draw and ace high. And he does. So we come to the river. And it's a nine. Ooh. Well, that could be a bad card here for Tom Dwan. You know, he's most likely going to check it, and he does. And Patrick is most likely going to value bet. And again, will Durr make another laydown? 95,000 in the pot. And he's going to bet 71,000. And Tom's going to think this one through. Again, what does he beat? Antonius is most likely betting a hand for value that is better than Tom Dwan's hand, or he has a bluff. Taking his time. These are the hands he's laid down consistently tonight. And he does it again. Wow, just great play there, even though he's losing by Tom Dwan. They bluffed and they battled each, trying to get the upper hand. And Patrick Antonis, he kind of picks up right where he left off last year. He won 400000 and change last year, so almost a million in the two years of cash games down here in Melbourne. And for Tom Dwan, he really doesn't have to hang his head. He played as good as he could, but sometimes luck is a big part of things. We've seen two of the best battle, two and a half million dollars between them. And tonight, Patrick Antonius got the best of Tom Dwan. Antonius will walk away a half million dollars to the good, and he continues his tear down under. That's a wrap for us for Bart Hansen. I'm Barry Tompkins. See you next year.